Thank you so much for staying with us. It's sports time here on Breakfast Central and we'll start with breaking news. It was breaking a few hours ago. Novak Djokovic remains in Australian Open draw as the decision over whether defending champion can stay in the country uh, drags on. It was quite surprising to many when they found out that uh, this same controversial Novak Djokovic is still in the draw. A 34-year-old has been drawn against a fellow Serb, one known as uh, Miomar Kecmanov. Now Britain's US Open champion Emma uh, Raducanu, seeded 17th, also faces American world number 68, Sloan Stevens, the 2017 champion at the New York Major. So, the Australian Open is the first Grand Slam of the 2022 season, and Novak Djokovic is already in a limbo. Well, it all depends on the Australian Immigration Minister uh, who will take that decision whether to uh, deport uh, Novak Djokovic or to allow him to remain as uh, many are still saying he needs to face the wrath of the law for not wanting to take a vaccine but still wanting to participate in an active sport where people will actually gather and he, don't forget his fellow uh, his, his fellow players are already vaccinated but he still has a problem with it he does not like to take that vaccine well let's leave that now let's go straight to the african cup of nations where something terrible actually happened first the referee blew his whistle for full time with five minutes still remaining on the clock. Now the error was quickly spotted as players and coaching staff looked confused and referee Ajani Sikazwe of Zambia signaled for play to continue. Now Sikazwe then reduced Tunisia to 10 men when he showed a straight red card to El Bilal Touré. Even though he was told to go check the VAR, he said no, it was a harsh decision. Many said it was not overturned. But guess what? The game continued. When Tunisia kept pushing for a winner, the game was then ended by the referee when the clock showed 89 minutes and 42 seconds. It was not even regulation time. Tunisia's manager and backroom staff were incensed by the decision and ran onto the pitch to demonstrate what the referee had done, telling him it's wrong. You do not stop a match when it hasn't ended. Now, that's the drama that took place yesterday. It was something else. But let me quickly tell you about the results of the matches played yesterday very quickly before we take a look at what we have later today. Mali won that game, uh, beating Tunisia one goal to nil. And Gambia, yes, I was celebrating them yesterday and I'm happy they did win. Well, I'm not saying in the exp at the expense of Mauritania, but guess what? They played better. One goal to nil as well. And Ivory Coast, we never expected less, beating Equatorial Guinea by one goal to nil. Let's take a look at the fixtures for today. Cameroon will come back on the football pitch having won their first game thanks to the penalties that they had. The Cameroon will be playing Ethiopia this time, while Cape Verde will play Burkina Faso at the ongoing African Cup of Nations.